time for another side quest. You're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. Didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but I'm in no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess, calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy, saying it aloud. I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. I'll spare you the grisly details. And just say they stole my life from me. My family. My home. Is that reason enough for you? But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this? A soulless imitation. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. <sighs> Living in hate can poison a man. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. All right, let's go. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you wanna know? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even hand-picked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? Have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Perhaps I can be of service. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmuter chips, as well as other points of interest. I hope that helps your search. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the 
treasure hunt begin? Can we search here for that chip? So this is actually a fairly long side quest. We gotta go hunting for things. You gotta go find a transmuter chip to be able to craft the stuff that we need to repair the windmill. And we also need to go on a hunt, kill a fairly powerful monster in order to get the parts. So here is where we get the transmuter chip. It's also a second, uh, anyway, let's go on. Excellent. It seems you found the transmuter chip. With it, you'll be able to create the item Mildred needs. You need only collect the requisite materials and craft the part. If you're having trouble tracking them down, then you may want to try analyzing more life springs. So this Broden guy, he, she was called like a natural trooper and he took part in some super secret experiment that he won't talk about. It's obvious that he was part of the Genova experiments. You hear him saying that he feels like he needs to go somewhere. Him having to go somewhere, uh, kind of sounds like he was one of the Sephiroth clones. Um, there was, apparently it was something of a mistranslation in the original game to call all of those black-robed people Sephiroth clones. Apparently the, a more appropriate word to use was probably copy, which is, sort of means the same thing, but I guess it was a little bit of a different connotation. Saying that they're Sephiroth clones kind of implies that they're just genetic duplicates of him. Like they took his DNA and did like a Dolly the Sheep kind of thing with him. And that's not really what happened. What they were trying to do apparently was to take... Uh, they took Sephiroth's like cells and injected them, just like they were doing with Genova previously, into people in an attempt to sort of experiment on them, I guess trying to reproduce him. And a lot of the soldiers probably uh, had this done on them. Maybe uh, Broden looks a little old, so perhaps he wasn't one of the Sephiroth clones so much as he was a Genova, somebody who was experimented on, like the Genova experiments beforehand. Because I don't want to bring Crisis Core into this, but Crisis Core does bring up that there were multiple different um, genetic lines of of the Genova experiments. There was the Sephiroth type, and then there was the Genesis type, and the Angeal type, and Sephiroth ended up being the most powerful of the three, so that's what they ended up going with. But in, in the original game, you had the Sephiroth clones, which were essentially... We saw some of them in the first part of the remake also. They're sort of out of their damn minds. They just sort of chant Sephiroth's name and say reunion. They are uh, traveling somewhere in pursuit of, of Sephiroth or trying to follow him. Turns out actually following Genova. And he exhibits like a degree of control over them. Now, Cloud was actually one of them. Something it's it's doesn't entirely explain his history, but Sephiroth was experimented on with the Sephiroth uh, cells and Genova cells, and he is a product of these Genova experiments. Which is how Sephiroth was able to exhibit the kind of control over him that he was able to. It's kind of funny that, well, I mean, you picked up a number of summon materia in the first chapter, but Shiva was one of them, and it's kind of weird that I just have Shiva materia now and not have to earn it in some way. <laughs> Anyway, Cloud was one of the Sephiroth clones, or copies, or whatever the hell we're going to call them. And much of the... Um, much of the, of the way Sephiroth interacts with him and, and 
urges him forward and manipulates him is to basically give Sephiroth the Black Materia, which we're probably going to see the Black Materia later on in this game. Can't wait for that one. But we won't see Cloud's Betrayal because that happens later on in the story. But all of the things that Cloud is being urged to do to chase after Sephiroth, to claim the Black Materia, even to assault Aerith at some point, it's all um, Sephiroth's doing. And if Broden is, um, well, it's pretty clear he is a product of the same kind of experiment, although so maybe not to the same extent. There was something mentioned in Crisis Core about like cellular degradation, which um, a lot of the soldiers end up going through because of the Genova experiments. It, it fucks them up, and it was it was a thing that Genesis was dying of. He wouldn't. Um, he wasn't going to survive that long because he had some incomplete or impure merger with the Genova cells. So it was his goal in that was to procure some way of surviving longer. And Sephiroth, uh, he didn't have that same genetic degradation, and I assume that Cloud wouldn't either. Uh, in fact, you know what? Cloud didn't. In fact, it was part of Genesis' uh, Genesis's <laughs> plan was to get cells from Cloud because he needed them in order to preserve his own life. So Cloud wasn't subject to the same genetic degradation. But if Broden is from a previous generation of soldier, it makes sense that he would be... Um, he would be subject to that. But, you know, that's Crisis Core. They did say something like that, though, didn't they, in, in the first chapter in, in Remake? So confusing, the naming convention they went with. Final Fantasy VII Remake, the previous, the immediate predecessor to this game. President Shinra did mention something about the genetic degradation. Cloud acts like, yeah, he, he was aware of it. I, I don't know. There's a lot of sort of false information being thrown about. So I don't know what is really a plot hole and what isn't. But Cloud and most soldiers, I imagine, by this point in the timeline wouldn't be subject to that genetic degradation. <laughs> we kill it? <laughs> No, we didn't, did we? No, it's almost dead. Man, this thing is pretty tough. It's probably the toughest monster that I've fought so far in this game. You really gotta wail on this thing, and you gotta... Yeah, it's sort of... It's an optional boss, of course, but it's kind of the you-better-get-good enemy. Here we go. Killing it with style. Jeez, Tifa's doing her stretching animation and the thing fell on top of her. Confirmed. Cancel Quaddle defeated. Amazing work as always, Cloud. Your heroic victory over that vicious creature was a feast for the eyes. I suppose it falls to me to make Mai's presence more tolerable. How do you... <sighs> now then, allow me to congratulate you on your victory over that beast. And thank you for the valuable biological data. You should now be able to craft the requisite part for the windmill. No doubt Mildred is impatiently awaiting its delivery. Alright, we got the parts, we just need to go and you go and use the transmuter thing. I didn't demonstrate it earlier, but it's how you create like healing items, but also quest parts, uh, parts for quest items. So we made it and let's go turn it in. is a quality design. No 
those Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works. shame to know that he's sick and he's probably not going to end up getting better so like he yeah that's depressing isn't it <laughs> all right time to fast travel back to calm and finish the quest up and it's not too bad the fact that you have to run into the town calm isn't actually all that large once you get used to the size of it just you gotta learn your way around too. That's a bit of a pain. That's so. <laughs> if Mildred's happy, I'm happy. She said you've got a world to see. <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel. But I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. It's time. Time to go. To leave. You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's gotta make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right? You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. I'd heard the rumors about cellular degradation, but didn't believe them. Didn't want to believe them. Till I had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> 